Hello everybody, what is going on? It is the Sports Master here. Before we start, I want to say if this is bad audio quality, I'm sorry. I got some headphones after that first video, but they've been messing up, so I might get some new ones. I don't know, this is the, X or the end time, I'm like, just going to say that. But we're going to do a Heisman Challenge, and who are we going to pick? Not other than Mark Ingram, and so... This is kind of a series I want to do where if this is successful, I'll do the other person. But with Mark Ingram and future ones, basically, I will play a season of Heisman Challenge with them. And I will play their biggest rival. So for Alabama, I thought this biggest rival, or excuse me, rival is of course Auburn. So get a good look at that. Mark Ingram and Auburn College just sure does look weird. So as you see, there are goals. Try to beat Mark Ingram in his best year. And as we get a look at the Heisman, and as you see, I am ranked fifth, but we are 99 overall, so we might have to bump up difficulty if that continues. As you see, nobody else is a 99. But we're going to get right into the first game here. As you see, I'm a captain, and we're going to play Washington State. I'm sorry, my voice sounds a little different. I'm just kind of tired. Here we go. Mark Ingram, after a swing out, I assume by Washington State, it's Auburn ball, Nick Marshall, looks like Nick Marshall's going to keep adding some of that reaction time to see if they have the ball or not, but Nick Marshall is able to get up there and I, the Heisman Challenge commentary is on, so Nick Marshall, again, have a shot, that looks like we're going to run the same play, but this time they're going to hand it off to me, so that's going to be my first carry. It's third Mark down, Ingram's and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. That is a two-yard game. So now on third down and two. Play action. And my son is Makes blocked. the catch and look out. Because he pushes out a little bit of first down. Right. 17 yards. The first down to Auburn. And so since I'm a 99, I'm really going to have to see. Come back to this. If I'm a 99, I'm going to have to see. He's on the run. I need to follow the difficulty. But he marches. Oh, well, it looks like a read option. He got a touchdown. So we're up seven to nothing now. Seven points. Actually, I guess enough to clear out by Washington State. Because we're ahead of the table, so that we're not ready for a counter. Ingram has He's some room. Midfield. Washington State defender, he stiff arms and is able to get about five three yards. So a first down and a 33 yard rush by Mark Ingram, his first big rush in a Tigers uniform. But now on second down and 12. A lot of shotgun plays for Auburn. Now handoff, breaks the tackle, he's at the passes 20. space, breaks another and tackle, and we we'll get out to about the 11 yard line, so a really They're nice four yards away here a really on nice rush for Mark Ingram, but on third down and four, let's see if Auburn they can convert. Is up by a touchdown. Another shotgun play, hands off, in touchdown, so Mark Ingram gets his first rushing touchdown. And then all the Back to the action now here in the second quarter. We're going to jump right into the second quarter. I'm going to keep it at five minute quarter. So the only thing I'll edit is maybe a difficulty. So Mark Ingram breaks the tackle now. And he'll get out to about the, around the 13 yard line. 13 yard line. That'll be a first down. And an 11 first down, so 10 to go. Ball on the 13. Auburn having a great day running the ball. And then he hasn't passed that much. Another shotgun play. And Marshall will keep touchdown, it. Touchdown, Tigers. And touchdown for Auburn again. So Nick Marshall gets his second rushing touchdown. Mark Ingram already has a rushing touchdown. It is 21 0. Hey, so it looks hey. like Washington State can't get anything going off. Look at this now. Hand off to Ingram. He breaks the tackle and he's able to get a first down. And down he goes. Around the 49 yard line. Go. Awesome running. But nonetheless, it is first down for Auburn. So now down on second down three. Nick Marshall hands it off to Ingram on the counter. Up the middle, and he hits him at the 33. A nice good game. yardage there. It'll be first nice and game. ten. But now I'm second down at six. I'm just set the block, and he finds a man. Does Nick Marshall? It'll be first down and ten after a 12-yard completion. So it looks like when Luke Marshall's we got back second and, and passed, he's Ball had some 17. success. But now it's second down and 11. 
Turns off to Ingram. Ingram has some blocks. And a touch. No, he gets killed at the one yard line. Here's play number 10. He's not killed at the one yard line. But it is first and goal from the one. So they got in a shotgun formation. Kind of blew away. Touchdown. And Nick Marshall keeps that. It would have been a touchdown either way, but Nick Marshall keeps that. Right, and that's how we will end this. Washington State goes for the touchdown. To start. And then on punt and kick. Nice kick. Plenty of distance. Force trying to block field goals. So starting out the third quarter. Here we go. Breaks the tackle. He's to the 20. Breaks another tackle. Gets some blocks. Across midfield. And there's going to be the nobody the in his pass and starting up the third quarter. Mark they return Ingram gets a kick return for a touchdown. His second overall touchdown. But Washington State is able to get another touchdown to the starting 5-14. Nick Marshall throws it and a good success, but what a block by Mark Ingram. That's the really the only reason I want to show that play is that was a great block. He just totally knocked down, that guy down. Need to get it to the 23. But now in third and 13 after some blown up plays. Mark will be going out this for a while. This one's going deep to the end zone. He was pretty He's open. Then Big Moser found no, somebody else up on the anyone. four verticals. And that'll be a touchdown. So now it's 42-14. Washington State doesn't score. So we get the ball back with 39 seconds to go in the, in the third quarter. Nick Marshall's going to keep it himself. He has room. And you see down in the bottom right, in the top right corner, Nick Marshall's able to get a touchdown for that. So now it will be 49 out of Nick Marshall. He gets his third rushing touchdown. So now it's 49-14. So now in the fourth quarter, it's third down and eight. Looks like we're going four verticals now. Ingram pretty open, and he's just going to dump it off to Ingram. And cross the hurdle to man. What a tackle, but Mark Ingram gets his first so reception. Third down upcoming here. As an Auburn Tiger for a first down. And that'll be his only reception in the game. So it looks to me like Ingram's having some success. So maybe I might want to bump it up. Bump up the difficulty and see, and as I actually saw afterwards, it was actually only on varsity difficulty, and I know we're an All-American, so I'm gonna bump it up to All-American and see if I'm just if I'm having really bad play. And he's really leveled at the 31-yard line. Games, because I know it's just Washington State, it's not the best team, but they're not exactly the worst team either. So I'm just gonna see. Uh, I, I already turned it up to all American. I have to turn the second game, but that'll uh, be the next thing. He's in know. midfield. But as we're just trying to run the Inside clock out here, Ingram breaks a few tackles and he gets his He'll third total touchdown. The that's going to end the game for us. But that's going to do it for this one. Our final score: Auburn so that was the game for Washington us. State 14. As Let's get Kirk Herbstreit's final thoughts on this one. Kirby, what do you got? They looked like they were in good shape coming in, but the result here is still impressive. Auburn made it today. When you can go out on the field and justify being a favorite, you're telling everybody something. As Auburn blows out Washington State, hopefully they don't get them right. As you see, only 25 carries, 238 yards, which is 8 yards away from the end of the year. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, I'm Brett. So these videos are going to be pretty short. I know I have a tendency to make long videos because I want to include stuff. But as you see his stats here, he gets 9.5 yards average, so that's way too high. But going into the next week, we're still ranked number five. Nobody has changed. But that's about to wrap it up for us. So we better go look at where he is currently, you know, on Mark on the real life Mark Ingram. But that's about to wrap it up for us. My next video is gonna be a new coaching carousel series that I'm starting. So like, comment, subscribe, sports master out. Peace.